Hey guys, Ty the RV guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 FR3 30DS. This is the number one selling floor plan in all of FR3's uh, lineups and we are very excited now to be a premium dealer for the FR3 A-Class motorhomes here at Rangeland. This is our first year with the product so please come on down, feel free to take one of these for a test drive have access to all the other floor plans too. So first thing we want to jump into with you guys on this is the overall length of this motorhome because this particular floor plan, the reason why it's so popular is it hits that sweet spot for an A-Class. So you're looking at about 32 feet long from bumper to bumper and that's perfect if you want to get into those tighter campsites because usually with these big A-Class motorhomes you're looking at that 35, 38, 40 feet plus. So something like this is very easy to manage if it's safe for, for example, your first A-Class motorhome. Now, talking about a bit of the construction here, the 30DS is built on an 18,000 uh, 18, pound chassis. And a couple of other little details, for example, if you look up on the roof there, you can see it's actually got a, uh, a speckled roof because that's a full fiberglass roof. Very unique to FR3. Generally, you don't see that in a lot of, uh, a lot of products in this price category. You usually see it in a lot of higher, higher end products. So it's nice to get that into something like this here. Other things that we talk about, this is a fiberglass bonded wall here too. So again, you have that nice two inch wall with the block foam insulation and aluminum framing to keep things light, but very, very durable. Now, as we start working our way through, I wanna actually start at the front of the motor home here and we'll just start working our way back. So like you can see on the front of this FR3, you have a beautiful fully molded fiberglass cap. Something like this is great because of course it wraps around the entire front of your motorhome, keeping it well protected against the, uh, against the elements. And of course it helps protect those seals around the top, the side, and even the bottom there too, from ever allowing water inside of the, the, uh, the coach. Like you can see, you have this great big windshield, which is super cool on these FR3s. And the reason why I talk about that is because we do something a little bit different on this coach. For example, the pillars in the side are some of the smallest that you can find in the industry. And that's a great feature to have because generally on these big A-class motorhomes, you have these massive pillars in the side that give you a big, big blind spot. Not the case with this FR3, so it's gonna give you that nice big view for when you're driving. Now, of course, while we're at the front of the motorhome here, I wanna talk about what's right behind this hood here. You have the brand new Ford 7.3 liter V8. This is uh, a brand new motor that uh, we've been seeing in all of Forest River's motorhomes now for the FR3 it, uh, to be exact. And this is great because of course you're getting a lot more power out of this compared to the old V10. It's got a lot more torque. And the nice thing about it too is you get that good low end torque. So when this motor's down at a lower RPM level, you're still getting all of that power where in the old V10s, you were struggling if you were at that lower RPM and you'd hear the motor revving really high. So it's a lot more fuel efficient now too. Um, as we work our way back, I wanna show you a couple of details. For example, you can see the slide outs here. They actually have a beautiful Schwintex system on the slide here. So it's evenly pulling that slide in and out on all four corners. And of course, with this particular model, we had it fitted with the slide topper awnings. So you're gonna be able to you know, keep all of that debris off the top of your slides without having to get up there and sweep it off with a broom. Now, there's a couple really cool features as we work our way down the back side of the motorhome here. For example, you're gonna see your big propane tank just underneath here in its own little storage compartment. And I believe that's a 60 pound uh, uh, propane tank on here. So you're gonna have enough storage of propane for when you're out on your big long travels. Now looking at these storage doors too, they're actually a full metal slam latch here. This particular unit doesn't have the keyhole in it for safety reasons being it's a propane uh, storage, but if you look down the rest of the motorhome here, you're gonna see they're all deadbolt lockable. So the same key that operates your entry door is gonna lock these doors too, so no one can get in here and obviously get access to your items. Now, well, as we're going through the storage compartments here, what you'll notice is they're actually got a really nice material on the inside. This is called a rotocast interior for your uh, storage compartments. It's actually com uh, completely spun together, so it's one solid piece. Most of your compartments are gonna have a drain in them too, so if you do wanna spray them out and get them nice and clean, you can easily do that and then just pull the plug out and it'll drain all that water for you. Now, right behind me here, you're gonna have one of your big storage compartments, but it's actually not a storage compartment. This is where your generator is. 
So with these FR3s, what they've gone to is the new Yamaha inverter technology. This is a 5,500 watt generator. And of course, this runs right off the fuel tank, so you're not worrying about burning that propane. Plus there's a safety feature in here too, where if you are running that generator for a long period of time and it starts to bring the gas level low in your vehicle, it won't allow it to go low enough where you can't obviously leave your campsite. So you won't be worried about running out of gas by running this generator. There's also a cool feature with it where you have a key fob right on your set of keys there where you can simply start this if you're outside. And of course, when you're inside the motorhome too, there's this little switch that you can turn it on for you also. Let's keep moving here. So as we look now, you're starting to see a lot more storage compartments um, that are getting bigger too. So of course you're gonna have much, much, or sorry, lots of storage space for all of your things when you're going out on your camping trip. This compartment's really cool because of course they have a light in here and this is gonna be your full docking station. So like we can see here, you have your city water connection, your flush tank fill, and your black tank flush. And of course, for those who aren't familiar with what a black tank flush is, you can simply hook this motorhome up to a garden hose. This is going to completely rinse out your sewer system. Now, inside here, you have all heated and enclosed gate valves like you can see in this compartment. Um, you have all your accesses underneath here, so if you need to run a hose up for the water or if you need to uh, run the sewer down, you can easily do that. And they even give you a little outside shower in here too. Now, talking about the actual um, being that we're talking about the heated and enclosed uh, dumping station here. This motorhome also has an enclosed underbelly so your tanks are nicely warm and heated so you can go out into that early uh, early season or late season and do all of your camping then too. Now as we look towards the back of this motorhome you see you have this beautiful pass-through compartment. This is one of the best things about owning a C-Class motorhome is you do have a ton of storage. Of course in here you have you can see you have an inverter power and then your power cord here you have it, we actually have it ran out the bottom and plugged in. But of course, if you're wanting to have it hooked up to your generator, you simply just plug the cord right into this big outlet here and you can go out and dry camp without any hookups because you have that generator. Now on the topic of power too, this motorhome brought in from the factory with a 100 watt, I believe, solar panel up on the roof, pre-installed there too. So you're covered on both end of things. You'll have obviously your generator and your solar. At the back here, you'll see you have a nice ladder to get up onto your roof so you can check everything out over the years of use. Make sure your seals are all good, have a look at that solar panel, you name it. And then of course, right at the very top there, you'll see that little black thing, that's actually your backup camera. Now along with your backup camera, you're gonna have side view cameras on this coach too. So a really cool feature with that is you can simply hit your left or right signal and as you hit that signal, it's going to illuminate or show you what is in your left, la uh, left lane or your right lane. And then of course, if you put the coach into reverse, you can see what's behind you too. So really, really nice feature to have. And then just below that on the very bottom here, you have a two inch receiver. And this is already set up for towing. So a lot of folks that get into an A-class motorhome are gonna to wanna to be pulling a vehicle behind them or maybe a motorcycle or something like that. Right here, like you can see, you're fully set up. It's got a 5,000 pound towing capacity with a 500 pound tongue weight. You have your uh, seven pin connection here already installed. Um, I'll have to double check. This coach might even already have the brake controller in there for you too, but you're set to tow anything that you really want to. Now, follow me over this way. You'll see, of course, we have the, oh, that's my head. <laughs> we have the other entrance here into the pass-through compartment, and you're also gonna have your ladder for the cool power bunk uh, system that we'll show you once we jump inside. <clears throat> now, as we work our way along, just on this side here, you're gonna have a LP quick connect. So this is perfect if you wanna bring, say your um, barbecue with you, or even if it's a fire ban out there maybe, and you wanna bring a portable fire pit or something like that, you can look right up to this here, and it's gonna run right off that big propane tank that you have on the coach. Right beside it, again, another big storage compartment. I can't stress enough, this is one of the biggest features of owning these A-class motorhomes, is you have a ton of storage. As we work our way along here, you're gonna have an access port to uh, some winterizing features here too. And then just on the side, more storage again. And again, right here, access to your batteries and of course, your hydraulic pump there. Now, the reason why you're seeing hydraulic pump in this, in this uh, motorhome is you have a four point 
hydraulic auto leveling system built right into this motorhome for you. So the beautiful thing about that is you can simply just drive it into your campsite, hit the button, it's gonna drop the four pistons down and completely level this motorhome for you so you're not having to do anything whatsoever once you get to your campsite. It's a beautiful feature to have. I would almost say it's a must have on something like this. Now just above us here, you're gonna have your outside TV too. And of course it's got its own little storage compartment which is all sealed up so you're not gonna be worried about rain or anything you're getting inside here. And again, like you'll see, you'll have the deadbolt latches on there so no one's gonna be able to come in here and take the TV on you. Just underneath that, you got some outside speakers too. And right up above, a full power awning with an LED light strip. Really cool feature that you do see also on a lot of these A-Class motorhomes is yes, this door is open now and you have the steps that are nicely uh, folded out here so you have that easy entry. Of course, as soon as we close this door for you, you'll see the steps are gonna nicely just fold away. It's a really cool feature to have. And then of course, nice easy open handle there. We open up the screen door again and your steps come out for you. Let's go inside now and start looking at the cockpit of this particular motorhome. So first thing you'll notice coming inside this big FR3 here is you have a ton of headspace. I'm six feet tall and I'm easily able to stand up in here and you have a lot of space sitting down. This has the, uh, the new Ford uh, display, uh, I should say, or the, the Ford cockpit in here. So a couple of the really nice features that you're gonna see in here is a full telescopic steering wheel. So of course you can adjust it up and down and out towards you. Um, you'll have the really nice new dials up in front of here too, all of your selection on your steering wheel. And of course, down on this side here, you're gonna see that's where that auto leveling is. So very easy to work. All you do with something like this is you just push in your, uh, your brake, start the motor up, and then you can easily hit the auto level button and away you go. As we work our way along the dash here, a cool feature that you don't see sometimes in these, uh, in these A-Class motorhomes is traction control. So it also has a feature where if you're on a hill, you have a roll start for you. So it's not gonna allow for the motorhome to start going backwards. It'll actually keep the RPMs up and allow you to easily progress up a steep slope. Now, while we're looking through the rest of the dash here, of course, you have all of your climate control options here with air conditioning and recirculation. We'll have actual heated mirrors here, and these are also power mirrors for you too, just controlled on the opposite side of me here. You'll have your battery booster switch. Um, this is actually your shade here for the very front window, or for the front window here. Really cool, simply push a button. It's gonna drop down that shade here once you're camped into your, your setup into your campsite. And then just beside me, these are simple pull down roller shades too, to give you that same effect. Um, now, while we're looking at this new Sony cockpit, this is super cool. You can pair your phone up to this via Bluetooth. There's a speaker on the outside here too, so you can obviously talk while you're driving. And it's got some really nice features. For example, you can see you got your radio, you got your XM here, you'll have your phone connection, and then we can even go into our rear backup camera like we've seen there too. This is a full touch screen panel, so you can just swipe across it here. It's very, very, very cool. Now, looking over into your passenger seat here, I should also mention both of these seats are very easily um, turnable. So you can have both the chairs turned back into the main area to give you that extra seating space. But one of the really nice touches that they do for you, they give you cell phone holders here. Of course, you're gonna have a little table beside us so you can put some drinks in there while you're going down the road. And your passenger is gonna be nice and comfy because of course, while you're sitting here, you can actually fold this towards them. If they wanna have a laptop going here or something like that, you got some plugins along the side here for 12 volt and even a USB charger there for you too. So it's very, very well set up. Now before we leave the cockpit here, I wanna talk about a really cool feature that you get out of the FR3, and that's what they call the dog house. So just underneath this dash, you'll notice, this is actually where that big V8 is sitting um, underneath here. And one of the things that we love to talk about is this has actually been a majorly recessed down into the floor. One of the big problems you'll see in getting into these A-classes is this is a lot taller, so it makes it very hard to get inside your motorhome. Um, and sit down in here so it's really easy to get your legs over and that type of thing you got some nice rubber matting in here to top it all off so now as we're looking at the front here i do want to show you one of the coolest features with this fr3 and that of course is your power bunk here so just as you're coming in the door there's actually a little switch down here which allows us to bring this down and it's completely motorized for you so you don't have to worry about you know breaking your back trying to get all this set up 
It's very nice and easy. I just hold this button down and then it starts to fold flat for you. Just like that. So like you can see, there's some additional storage space up here and you'll even have some speakers on either side. Of course, on the main dash there, there's a, a button where you can actually uh, control where you want the sound to be playing, either in the cockpit or into the coach or even outside there too. Um, just above, you'll also have a little cargo netting here. So if you have some young ones up there, they're not gonna be, you're not gonna be worried about them falling out. And then of course, like we mentioned before, there's a ladder in the pass-through so you can hook that up for you right here too. Now, let's talk about the main area. For example, with this slide out is completely wide open here, you have a ton of space. But of course, another thing that you're probably curious about is when this slide is closed. When this slide comes all the way in here, there is a plenty amount of space to walk through this motorhome. You can open up the fridge. Of course, you can sit down here, watch the TV, do all that kind of stuff. But as we're looking inside your, uh, your slide out here, you're gonna have some nice cabinetry up above. All of your windows are equipped with these nice pull down shades like you've seen in the cockpit there. And then of course you have these theater style seats. So with, with these, they both have seat belts for you. So passengers can be easily uh, comfortable right here watching a movie while you go down the road. And they can even recline out in the middle. You got some cell phone chargers in there too, or tablet chargers, whatever you may need. And then as we work our way over this way, you have a really nice dinette. And one of the cool things that FR3 does is you can see it's almost like a perfect booth right from a, uh, like a restaurant, if you will. Underneath, you'll have some nice storage drawers here too that you can simply open up and access all the way to the very back. And this will make down into an additional sleeping space for you. So just in your main area alone here, you could easily sleep four people and then of course, an additional two in the back. Now, let's look at your kitchen here. So. With your kitchen, like we mentioned, big TV there. This TV actually flips up, I believe, so you can access some of the storage behind it, just like that. Works great if you wanna put maybe like an Xbox or something like that in here too, because of course it's got USB pre-wired and you're set up to go. I also forgot to mention when we were on the outside there in one of the storage compartments, there is a hookup for an HDMI cord out for your uh, outside TV. So if you wanted to put a DVD player or something like that, you can easily do that as well. <clears throat> now underneath this TV, of course you're going to have your kitchen prep area which is really nice. It's got an actual extendable counter piece here for you to give you maximized amount of space. They give you a little cutting board attachment and of course a little drying rack here which nicely folds away and of course an undermounted stainless steel tub sink with the sprayer faucet. So you're going to have all those amenities like you have at home right here inside your motor home. Now, one little touch that I love that they did with this FR3 is if we open up this drawer here, you'll notice again, it gives you another countertop extension prep space, but this is actually on a magnet. So we can simply put this back inside the countertop here. And then just underneath that, you have a big wide open uh, drawer here. Now talking about the cabinets and the drawers, these are all solid wood construction. So you're not seeing that cheap paperboard type material. Of course, you have solid plywood throughout all of your drawers too, and even full ball bearing extension drawer glides, so you're very easily able to access everything inside your storage compartments like this. Now, beside us, you have a Magic Chef residential microwave, and then beneath us, we'll also have a 22 inch uh, gas oven here, and a three burner cooktop with a tempered glass cover. So it gives you plenty of prep space, but you're also getting a lot of cooking space too. Now, to finish off in the kitchen here, one of the really nice features you have is a gas and electric fridge. Sometimes you may see in these big motor homes a big residential fridge. The tough part with something like that is you always have to have that generator running or you always have to have your coach plugged in to operate that fridge. Not the case with something like this. And it's just as big as the residentials also. Like you can see, big dual door or French door is what you like to call it here for the fridge area. And then just up above, you'll have a separated uh, freezer. <clears throat> now beside us here with this fridge, you're also going to have some additional storage space. And again, going into that nice fit and finish that you get of this FR3, they do that hidden hinge style of construction in here too, so you know it's good quality stuff. <clears throat> now follow me back into the bathroom here. As we work our way in, you'll notice you have your control panel here right on the wall. This is gonna control your slide outs here. You can also see it's got a, um, 
It's got a switch for your Arctic package and your heat pumps um, going into your uh, underbelly there. And it even has the switch for the generator, like I mentioned, with your hour counter underneath there. So as we work our way back, there's actually a really cool feature about this bathroom because you're probably wondering where the door is for this bedroom. And it's really simple. You just open the bathroom door here into the toilet and it actually clips into place along the side wall here so you can completely give yourself a private area. Now while I'm standing back here, I'll let you pop into the bathroom there, have a look at the toilet, have a look at the sink. You know, there's plenty of space in there too. You're gonna see a foot flush toilet. It actually has a, uh, a porcelain toilet in there for you too, so it's nice and easy to keep clean. Um, and of course, it's a lot more durable than the plastics. Now, straight across from that, you're also gonna have your shower here. Nice thing with this shower is it has a beautiful pull across door for you. And of course, a nice high faucet. And there's plenty of uh, ceiling height here. I'll actually show you if I come across. Oops. I can stand inside this shower very comfortably. And like I mentioned, I'm six feet tall. There is lots of headroom in here. The shower head is up nice and tall. And of course, you can cl simply close it off with the glass doors to keep all that water contained in here for you too. Now, I'll follow you guys back into the bedroom. One of the really nice things about this FR3 and only a 32 foot floor, uh, floor plan is you actually have a king bed on a slide out here. So it really opens up the space in your bedroom and they give you some nice reading lights up above there. Each side of the bed is going to have two USB plug-ins and two power outlets for you. So of course it's CPAP friendly and you're gonna be able to plug in all your devices right before you go to bed. Now, straight across from that, you're gonna have two wardrobes on either side. So you're gonna have a nice him and, uh, him and hers. And then of course, washer and dryer prep in here too. So if you wanna get that nice single uh, two-in-one style unit, it's gonna fit in here perfectly. Just underneath that, Plenty of drawer space here for again, more clothes and that type of thing. You're also gonna have a TV up on the wall here, which is again, gonna have storage behind it. And there's a, a, a plug-in here along with a 12 volt plug-in for you too. So if you need to charge anything. The other thing that's really nice about this bedroom, of course you have windows in your slides, you have a window across here so you can get a good cross breeze th uh, flowing through your bedroom. Follow me up to the front of this motorhome and I'll uh, talk about a couple more features before we, uh, we wrap it up here. So one of the really unique things that we've seen with these new FR3s is the style of air conditioning that they use. This of course is a full ducted unit when it comes to their air conditioning, but what you're gonna have is an actual 18,000 BTU air conditioner along with a 16,000 BTU air conditioner. So you're gonna have plenty of AC for this entire motorhome. Of course, it's got a ducted furnace in here for you too, so your climate control is gonna be perfect. There's a fantastic fan right above our head here also, so if you don't wanna be running that AC, you can simply just pull that air out for you. I think that pretty much wraps up this FR3 today. There might be some stuff that I missed, but guys, don't be shy to come down to the dealership. Have a look at this for yourself. Feel free to take it for a test drive. They're, they're one of the easiest things to drive. It may be fairly intimidating when you look at it, but once you get behind the wheel, you'll, you'll surprise yourself. I guarantee it. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ty the RV Guy, and make sure you call us about our RV show pricing on right now. We'd be happy to have you come down and check one of these out. Thanks again for watching, and happy camping.